speaking of uh, mistakes or potential mistakes and stumbling. My favorite had, part you, of the this is this is why you're here, politics, right? Yes. Um, so you had a, a column earlier this week on Russ Feingold, who's trying to regain his Senate seat, and over the last six years, five years or so, he's raised a lot of money, spent a lot of money, but where did it so go? So what happened is in, in 2010, he's defeated by Ron Johnson. And um, in 2011, he leaves office. And shortly after he leaves office, he creates two funds, one called Progressive United Inc. and Progressives United PAC. And the PAC does political activities. The, the Progressive United Inc. is supposed to do some political activity up to 50%. But um, what I looked at is what he's done with the money over those last four years. And he's raised with those two funds $10 million. And Progressives United PAC, he's raised $7 million. And uh, it's funny, the, the stated purpose was to directly and indirectly help progressive candidates, liberal candidates, but only 5% of the money he had raised actually went to that, uh, $350,000 It went to that. Instead, the money went to administration, uh, fundraising, 50% of it went to fundraising, and um, salaries, salaries for former staffers. The PAC had, Feingold got paid for it, his chief of staff got paid, out of it and eight other former Senate and uh, campaign staffers were paid out of that fund. So it gives this impression that it was basically a landing pad for them in between two right. campaigns. Yeah, I mean, the, the finances, it'd be one of those red flags you see about nonprofits all the time. If they spend 90% of their money fundraising and how much actually goes to the cause. And, and Progressive right. United Inc. is a, is a, is a nonprofit. Right. It's a 501c4. They raised $2.9 million and 90%, nearly 90% uh, of that went to two things salaries and fundraising. And again, it, it's interesting, they, their only response so far has been to say, you need to look at how much money we raised indirectly, which again, it was not a great amount. It's, it's 1.6 million. So total, all of the money raised out of that 10 million that they've raised so far, only about 2 million ends up going right. to candidates. Yeah, so it's sort of this dynamic of, we'll take your money to help tell you where to, uh, else to send your money. Right? Exactly. So, that's that's yeah. what that's the way it is. Is that they are they are actively fundraising, and it allows them to have a full staff of ten people, and they then endorse candidates, and they say, "Well, we endorse the candidates," and then we told people wh who to vote for.